We have been talking about the possibility of, of airborne transmission and aerosol transmission as one of the modes of, of transmission of um, COVID-19. We're also looking at the possible role of airborne transmission in other settings, particularly closed settings where you have poor ventilation. And we've engaged with a large number of groups, um, epidemiologists and clinicians, IPC specialists, engineers, mathematical modelers, to try to consolidate the growing knowledge around, around transmission. When you're in an emergency situation like we are, and when the science is constantly changing on a daily basis almost. You know, we review uh, some days up to a thousand publications. The average is about 500 new publications a day. So there's a huge amount of, of new data that's being put out. Not all of it is of good quality. And so we do what's called a living systematic review. Every week we update the review based on the latest. And there are hundreds of publications now in the area of transmission. We take this very seriously. We are, of course, uh, focused on, on public health guidance, uh, and so any guidance that we put out has implications, of course, for, for billions of people uh, around the world. So it's, it has to be carefully considered.